Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm really excited about today's topic. It was something that I was running into and having problems with. I saw the solution on Tableau Community Forum. It worked for me. I'm hoping I want, I'm going to share this with you. Hopefully it'll work for you. You've got a donut chart. The labels on the outside. You have a big label in the middle. It looks very nice until you only have one item selected on the outside. Now you have overlapping items. The way you get around this, let's go ahead and annotate the mark. Let's see if we can annotate the, let's see if it has us here. Nope, it doesn't. What we're looking for, we're going to have to annotate the mark. We're looking to get that middle, there we go, sum of sales. And just so it looks the same, we're going to get rid of all some of the headers. And then we just blow this up to 20 or so. Big and bold. And then what we'll need to do is, let's see here, you're going to bring it over and it's going to hide the labels here. Okay, and it's still a little shaded. I don't know if you can see that on your screen. Come under here, Format. You can see under Box, Shading. And make sure it's white and then we're going to make it all the way 100 percent okay and now it will fill that space now what in my project i had to move these items in a little bit further because even with multiple um, items selected they were kind of crowding into the middle and it was going over them it was overriding them and so now you've got that works fine and then if you want to get that works fine too. Go back to appliances. There you go. And you could even, um, if, you know, still do number formatting because it just works just like a label. And the other thing is if you get rid of everything, it disappears as well. So that was just a cute, uh, that was just a uh, quick way. It's annotate. If you don't have it, let's see, we'll get rid of this one. Then you annotate, mark, and then you've got here the value that you want. And you format it accordingly. You format, come up to shade, change the shading to white so that it covers it. So if you have a black background, you would want to change it to black, or if you had a different color, you'd want to change it to the other color so it appears that it's see-through. There you go. Uh, hope you found that useful. Keep the ideas coming. Uh, please subscribe, please turn on your notifications, and check me out on Patreon, my Patreon page. We'll see you there.